and it's available. All right, the problem we're going to run into as a class during this uh, time period is I've got to move template drawings out of Moodle and into the web application. All right, so let's go into Moodle real quick, and I'll give you an example. So our first lesson is going to be uh, Dimensioning Lesson 6-1. This is for Drafting 1. Drafting 2, I mean, just pay attention to what I've got going on here because you're going to do the same um, steps. Where it says Dimensioning Lesson 6-1, if I click on that, and it opens up, and here's the file I need, the template file that I need. Okay, we've got the outline, the instructions, what's going to happen, uh, what absent students, which all of you are absent in this case, what you'd have to do, and then... Um, lesson resources. Here's my drawing file. Okay, if I click on this, if you've downloaded a full version, the student version of AutoCAD, if I click on it, or you click on it, it's just going to open up in that application ready for you to go. But if you have to use the web app, now we have to take a few additional steps. And probably the easiest thing to do is to use your student OneDrive account. Okay, um, Polk County Schools already has this set up for you. I tell you what, I will come over here to uh, our tabs across the top, and I'm just going to open a new tab. And I'll just start typing OneDrive.Live.com. You can see it coming up here. OneDrive, uh, D-R-I-V-E dot Live dot com. Press Enter. And it will take us to the sign-in page. Okay, so what we're doing is we're opening up our OneDrive. Okay, this is where you can store everything as far as school related, you can store it in here and it's available to you no matter where you're at. I'm sure many of you have already been using this in other classes, uh, but there's a few I'm sure have not used it yet. And it's a sign in. This is where we put in our student email. In my case, it's going to be a harold.weston at polk fl.net. I'll put the dot in there, dot net. And I'll pick next. And it's asking, is this a work or school account? or a personal account. No, it's a work account. It's your school account. So we'll click on this. And it'll take me up for some reason. It's asking me again. I guess it was confused. So I'll click on work. Taking you to your organization sign-in page. Okay, and the first thing that pops up after that is should be our password. Okay. For some, because I use this computer a lot, it's already uh, linked my password into the account. But it should ask you for your password, and you use your student password. Okay, the same one you use to log on to the systems and access student portal and everything else, same one you use here. Okay, so here's my OneDrive. All right, so for me to link these things together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drawing out of Moodle. So once again, if you already have the full student version of AutoCAD downloaded, you just click on it, it'll open up, everything will work fine. But if you don't, you're going to have to move it into a position or a location where you can access it through the web application. So what I'll do is I'll right click here and I'll pick Save Link As. All right, it's going to ask where do I want to save it. And I tell you what, for right now, I'm going to put it in Documents. All right. Um, some of you may have a OneDrive that's that like this one here is automatically linked to my my online OneDrive most of you probably don't have this so I'm just gonna walk through the long process Just save it at documents okay and uh, this is probably gonna tell me I already have this in here which is fine save do I want to overwrite it I'll pick yes in this case because um, I'm demonstrating okay now what I need to do is put this drawing now that it's in my documents I want to put it in my OneDrive so I'll pick Upload, and I'll Upload Files, and we're going to upload it from my document. So I'll scroll down until I find that um, Dimensioning 6-1 Lesson, click Open, and it will upload it to my OneDrive. And it may take a few seconds, I'm sitting here waiting on it. Uh, uploaded OneDrive, one item to documents, and there it is. Okay, once it's in OneDrive, what we're going to do is go back over here to our web application. Okay, I've already got mine in here, but um, you probably don't. So what we're going to do is add a storage device or storage provider. 
So when I click on this, I'm gonna go down to OneDrive, click Add, and it's gonna take me through the same process before what your, your um, school web address. Hold on one second, I'm uh, running into some stuff in the background. Uh, what's your school web address? And you put that in there and then we can go in and now OneDrive is available. Okay, so you put in your school web address and then you put in your um, password and then it'll connect your OneDrive to the web application. So now what I can do is just click on OneDrive here and it'll take me to it's going to pull up all my OneDrive. What's what's in here is now available here with no problem. In fact, once you got this connected, you don't have to keep this open again. It's taking a second to retrieve everything. If I scroll down, now you notice it says, oh, Dimensioning 6-1 Lesson. That's the one we just uploaded. It's now available here. So I can click on it. And it will open the drawing up. And it may take it a second. And here we go. All right. And then it opens the drawing up. Okay, so this will be the first lesson that we go over. This is going to be a different video when we talk about the, the lesson part. And it's hope it won't be as complicated as this is. All right, so this one's going to have several sheets of paper we're going to be working with. So you'll just be scrolling down through one to the next, adding dimensions as I talk you through it. And then when you're done with it, we can just pick Save. Okay, when you pick Save, it's going to save it back to your OneDrive. So you don't have to you don't have to worry about anything else. It's saved to your OneDrive. That's where it's at. You're good. So we can close out of this. I can go back to OneDrive, take us back to the home. And what you'll notice is if I go back to documents, it'll even tell me, oh, it's just saved a few seconds ago. So it's it's current. It's the same drawing. You don't like I say you don't have to keep this open because it's it's connected to OneDrive here. All right, so when you're through with the lesson, then it's just a matter of going and turning it back in. So you have to add the submission, okay, just like before. But remember, what we have to do prior to anything is we're going to go back and we're going to have to download this um, out of our OneDrive. So you'd have to log back into OneDrive. You can um, click on this and then download this file back to your back to Documents. And then you can do the same thing here. We add submission and then you can upload it back from documents. So I've add submission, here we go, click. Upload a file, we'll choose the file, and the file is, like I say, in documents. Let me scroll down, there's documents. And you click on Dimension 6-1 Lesson, bam, and pick upload the file. And then I'm gonna close out of it, and then save changes and everything's good to go. You've got it submitted. All right, so that kind of runs us through the lesson. Once again, uh, the biggest thing is I need you to go in and make sure that you have a web account or you have downloaded and installed the AutoCAD uh, student version, either one. It doesn't matter which way you go. And then as you have questions, just email me. I will uh, keep, you, um, I'll keep you abreast and, and help you out wherever I can to, to keep us going. Um, okay, so anyway, just read the email that I'm sending out or just send out an email. Uh, it'll have the instructions on there. And once again, make sure you're keeping in contact with me. Send me, send me an email if you have any questions and, uh, and we'll be good.